game changer for, I think, not only Dyke New Hartford, but every school district across our state. We're working with the State Department of Education on, on implementing the critical incident mapping solution. Critical incident mapping is going to provide detailed indoor maps of school facilities and surrounding grounds to be able to provide data and analytical tools to first responders and school administrators that need this data in school emergencies. So what we'll do, we'll actually be acquiring school floor plans from each school throughout the state, K through 12. Our GeoCom internal team will then process that data using, some, using patented technology. We will then perform site visits to every single school that's participating to validate that the resources provided are accurate, as well as collect public safety points of interest. So some public safety points of interest are things like AEDs, fire extinguishers, camera locations. Uh, we'll all add those to the map and then make this data available to those stakeholders. This data will be implemented into existing first responder applications. It'll be a seamless integration so that they don't have additional applications. First responders have existing 911 mapping applications and the data that's collected as part of the critical incident mapping project is going to be incorporated into those existing applications. So when a 911 call comes in, they'll be able to see these detailed, detailed indoor maps of school facilities, as well as school grounds to give them the data that they need to make informed decisions and uh, create efficiencies in responding to incidents in school properties. I think it's really important to note that the maps developed as part of the critical incident mapping project are gonna be utilized in responding to incidents on school properties across the board. So that includes medical incidents, such as allergic reactions, as well as school injuries. Also of note, the state is going to be utilized for responding to those low probability, high consequence incidents, such as active shooter threats, bomb threats, and hostage situations. This is going to be state-of-the-art technology. We're going to be able to tell exactly where this 911 call is coming from within the school. It's going to give first responders uh, that head start that we need in a critical incident. And we'll be able to respond directly to the incident with the use of this technology. It's going to be a state-of-the-art thing that uh, once it's in place and everybody sees what Dyke New Hartford's done, uh, they're going to want to follow that model. The efficiencies that come with the system and the ability of our first responders to be able to react and, and know exactly where the issue lies, whether that's an intruder or whether that's another safety uh, dilemma or, or, or something we're trying to work through, I think is really going to allow them to respond in a manner that uh, is unmatched and unrivaled in other states. So don't delay in getting on board with this. This was a, this was a no brainer for us as we uh, took a look at the system and whatnot. Uh, I, my hope is that every single school district in our state jumps in on this.